Okay, sorry. Before we begin, uh, start with the recitation of uh, Umur Kitab uh, Al-Fatihah. And for non-Muslim, you can pray in silence. Okay. Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good morning to uh, everyone attending today. Okay, so I'll be talking about uh, today's uh, topic is for uh, material selection, selection of materials we shape. Eh? And uh, so uh, before we begin, eh? uh, so uh, thank you everyone for uh, completing uh, <clears throat> the uh, midterm test last week, okay, is that for Krishnan, okay, I think after class and then I think uh, Krishnan you can stay and I think we can, we have to uh, discuss the way forward uh, for you not, not completing the midterm last week. Okay, so uh, that's aside, okay, so uh, let me begin. Okay, <clears throat> so I talked about uh, early on a few, few uh, six weeks uh, before, okay, that uh, about uh, what material selection and what uh, detail is, uh, what is uh, product design, uh, and then how it relates with uh, with the subject of material selection. Also, I touch a little bit. So, um, uh, so the uh, detail design is actually a, a very uh, vast subject. Okay, um, you actually uh, in your your even your first year uh, subject for product design. Okay, you. Uh, actually uh, took the aspect of uh, how design uh, meaning that uh, uh, what comes to what are the, the process what are the uh, methodology that uh, you have to uh, uh, go through or what you need to uh, uh, you need to perform okay before you actually come with a, a product okay uh, regardless uh, I even talked about uh, I mean earlier on market surveys uh, customer needs and uh, specification requirements and everything. So, uh, so in our subject again. So, if we go, uh, if uh, talking uh, about it now, okay, uh, how we apply with uh, with material selection? How? Yeah, thank you for muting. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, in our in our case, that uh, I'm trying to relate with the uh, selection of the materials. Uh, and also selection of process and finally uh, regarding uh, how uh, cost is breakdown. So I even noticed that some of you uh, did your uh, sheet metal, uh, even trying to sort of uh, use our uh, uh, process of uh, material selection in your uh, presentation, which actually I mean, doesn't, uh, I mean, uh, I mean, change the outcome okay, on what material you use because the subject is actually is already sheet metal, so you have to use uh, sheet metal in your, your product. You can't use uh, uh, all of a sudden you use a composite. Okay, so um, so uh, so this is uh, uh, the 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 uh, or the detail design is actually a really uh, vast subject. Okay. Uh, all the the uh, how you choose materials okay even you did with your uh, uh, midterm you uh, there is uh, there is some uh, uh, structured method okay to deciding the material okay and there's such a method of uh, deciding the process the process we'll uh, talk about in this actually the second half of the semester okay after this we're talking about on how choosing process okay how we uh, relate process with the uh, material that is being uh, used. Okay. Okay. So coming back. Okay. A material. Okay. Uh, has to perform a function, and in order to that to do that, also material has to need to go through a process where uh, comes to a product. Okay. This is a uh, basic. Okay. Uh, material. Uh, we define the function, and uh, undergoing the process, and finally we can get to a product. And that product actually has uh, shape. It is not just uh, any kind of uh, a, a product, a general product. Okay? It has shape. And um, the shape 
is actually depending on what kind of uh, function and also what are the process that it needs to be uh, for it to undergo so uh, determines what kind of shape uh, that you you need okay uh, you 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 cannot simply just say okay i i want to do a, for example i want to do a mouse okay for computer mouse uh, and all of a sudden you decide okay i uh, i choose the uh, a square shape okay of course uh, people study uh, nowadays uh, with regards with the uh, uh, human interaction uh, you study ergonomics okay but i mean the early on when people if you uh, learn a little bit history of computers the early shape of a computer mice is really uh, really crude it's a it's it's, it's bulky it's large okay so uh, when people uh, started to uh, gain more inside knowledge on people uh, because when people interact daily with computers so they notice that uh, i mean uh, through time uh, people can get uh, RSI or repetitive stress injury. So they study on how to uh, reduce that risk. Okay, although that the the, the injury uh, cannot be totally avoided, but they study on how to reduce. So the shape is now more uh, more circular. It's more uh, more reflect of uh, it has uh, less stress on the on our fingers and hands and uh, shaping holding the the mice. If you, uh, because I was, uh, I had a, uh, I was in the early uh, adoption of uh, computers uh, when I was young. So early on, the the shape of the mice, uh, computer mouse, is really uh, bulky. Uh, it was not, uh, it was, uh, it was not uh, very comfortable on the hand. Okay, it even has uh, three. Uh, I still remember three uh, keys and no uh, scroller wheel. Okay, like we, if you see nowadays, okay, we have the scroll roller wheel. Previously, uh, we had three uh, 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 click clickable uh, uh, function. Okay, and uh, normally the the middle one no one uses uh, in the end. People only just just two. That's why they get they got rid of the of the uh, of the middle, and then they substitute with the uh, wheel, uh, the cursor wheel, and put a uh, a click on the cursor wheel itself. Okay, so that's an example of uh, of uh, shape. So, so what I, what I what I'm getting at is that uh, uh, th those uh, so when you decide so at the time so you, know, you wanted something to interact with the user interface of the computer. So they they, they design a, a mouse. Previously, people had to type. There was no uh, graphical user interface. Okay, so that's a little bit of. Uh, uh, you know, a product, for example, that uh, uh, call it as a computer mouse. Okay, so these shapes actually uh, define also what kind of uh, uh, the function. Okay, you uh, you have a, you want to build a structure. Okay, so a, a structure uh, for a house, uh, a structure to hold a uh, house to hold uh, load. Okay, so is it is it serve the function if you if the shape of the load bearing uh, structure is is a, a circle a I meaning not, not a circle uh, uh, a sphere or is it functional if we make it a square yeah a square also is better than the uh, the sphere to hold a load okay uh, to hold a specific uh, uh, and directional load as opposed to a, a sphere because a sphere cannot uh, it's uh, with that, that shape it cannot be uh, directionally loaded okay uh, if if you uh, if any point of the of this uh, discussion if you don't uh, if you have any question you can just uh, uh, unmute and then say uh, and then uh, try and you can interrupt me at any time okay and also shape also define the process of course um, for example uh, if you want to make a, a, a rod a, a metal rod okay so of course uh can you use uh, uh for example if if you have a a, a block of uh, of uh, of uh, mild steel and you want to turn it into a uh i mean a, a rod so uh, is it uh, is it economical to just i mean lathe 
okay to to the the uh, the block until you get a, a circular rod or is it uh, better if you extrude from a uh, from a billet okay and then you just extrude to the final shape okay either hot working or cold working okay it doesn't matter okay so a shape also define what kind of process that you uh, that you uh, need to uh, to get to that shape okay and ultimately it it relates to the the cost okay a function uh, the process also uh, that, that shape relates to and also the the cost itself okay so uh, so different type of uh, loading okay uh, 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 i mean a product is being undergone through okay, you have tension uh, which is an uh, actual load okay uh, okay uh, 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 shape then it's been loaded in tension okay actually Okay, according to one uh, using uh, uh, with just one axis okay and uh, for bending okay you just bend uh, one side and torsion is you uh, twist and buckling is actually you twist uh, until it uh, uh, buckles okay uh, until it fails uh, so uh, shape factor and performance indices shape we shape uh, that is what i'll be uh, explaining next Okay, so a material is considered uh, uh, with properties. Okay, is uh, matter with properties but no shape. Okay, yeah, so if you tell me the, uh, you talk about uh, what uh, the tensile strength of uh, mass steel, the bending strength of uh, mass steel, the Young's modulus, the stiffness of uh, mass steel, those are properties that we do not consider shape. Okay, we do not consider its shape. We just uh, the material properties. Okay, so uh, when we say without uh, shape, we just the properties meaning that that's why we have standardized testing. Okay, that's why we have uh, uh, standardized testing, which uh, you uh, you when you take uh, next semester or material testing. Okay, so then you understand what it means by standardized testing, meaning we 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 control. The method of testing to to understand the material properties, but we do not consider uh, regardless of its shape. Size. So different, uh, say different materials all have the same shape. So we only want to know the uh, the properties of the material. Okay, the the strength, uh, the hardness, or even the uh, the uh, the Young's modulus and everything. Okay, so that's why we, uh, that's why the, that's the definition of uh, material properties is uh, is, a, is a matter with uh, properties, but uh, material is considered a matter with properties, but we don't consider shape. And a structure, we call it as a material that has been made into a shape. So a structure of uh, this uh, uh, cylindrical uh, uh, battery, okay, is has is the material that has been into shape. Okay, you actually, uh, actually you have, uh the the if you look at the battery okay you have actually a seam in the middle okay if you can see uh, i'm holding the battery on in front of you okay uh seam here so that is actually the joint part of the battery okay previously that that uh the it, this uh the the covering okay the outer uh covering of the battery is actually a metal okay a sheet metal okay and being uh shaped uh, being uh, rolled into a circular shape and then shape. so uh, that we call this as a uh, uh, this part as the uh, the product with the structure because uh, it has material that has been made into a shape okay so a shape can change the material's behavior and even properties okay so for example the famous uh, you really uh, you've heard it maybe some of you uh, being uh, exposed to it explaining with it uh, for example uh, glass fiber okay glass if glass itself just a glass okay you if you held up uh, you can make a certain thickness with uh, with with uh, thickness and length okay uh, uh, as a rectangle shape glass okay it is very brittle Okay, it, uh, it it has no flexibility, but that same material, okay, silicon uh, glass, you make it into a fiber shape, really small, uh, a small uh, shape. For example, a wire, okay, a wire, 
okay, really uh, smaller diameter. And that glass has flexibility. Okay, it has uh, it has uh, flexibility. It is uh, its uh, elasticity is higher compared to a shape with uh, a shape as a as a piece of uh, or rectangular piece. Okay. So a shape can change the materials uh, behavior in room properties. Uh, carbon, for example, uh, people talk about uh, graphene. Okay, a single atom thickness of uh, of uh, of carbon. Okay, a single very uh, a single uh, a very fine very small thickness of uh, of uh, of a material. Okay, but the 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 exponential uh, properties it can give to a, a to uh, the matrix of, a, of a, for example, a, a matrix of metal or polymer is really as compared to a carbon fiber. Okay, that's why people go through, uh, go to the uh, scale of a nanoscale. And different types of application and loading can be different, okay, with one shape and another. Okay, a square uh, a shape of, uh, of uh, massy, for example, okay, it behaves uh, differently if you the shape is i beam okay it be uh, in bending and, and also yeah, but for for actual loading it is uh, compared to a, uh, a square shape is better to uh, uh, it, no uh, sorry uh, 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 better than the i shape okay but for bending it's better for uh, an i shape okay so that's why uh, i beam is for bending circular or tube for uh, twist or torsion and thin we have for flexibility as I mentioned just now like for like example graphene and how the material is loaded or applied would affect its uh, shape factor and also efficiency okay so the term shape factor is the efficiency of, uh, efficiency of the material usage okay uh, by definition that, that we define how uh, efficient a material okay uh, being used for a certain application a certain load a certain uh, mode of loading okay is the uh, we define as the shape factor okay so uh, if a material has uh, if a material being shaped for uh, for example uh, a circular shape okay that shape for certain application for uh, torsion or uh, is better as compared to uh, a material that's been shaped into a a square a square beam for a torsional uh, application okay so i'll talk a little bit more uh, later on. okay so these are the common modes of loading okay i talk uh, so this uh, i showing graphically uh, the common modes of loading we have uh, uh, actual tension okay we have uh, okay so actual tension uh, actual tension uh, normally so you can see okay is the in the uh, actually loaded okay and then we have for bending okay so bending is of course here bending or here we talk about bending as long as we have a distance okay to an axis okay so as long as this is a distance so we call it bending Okay, the force acting it uh, exits uh, bending moment. So for twisting, okay, for twisting is simple. That's the act of according to the, the twisting for the the torsional uh, stress or the torsional load torsion, okay, along the surface of the uh, of the of the shape. And for actual buckling, okay, it's actually the definition definition for compression, this direction. Okay, you compress it until it buckles okay uh, also you can twist until it buckles also uh, it's the same uh, definition but mainly uh, by, defini by definition is actually for compression so we have uh, tension uh, we have uh, bending we have uh, twist and also we have compression okay these are the uh, example of, of uh, common modes of loading okay so these are the basic just basic only uh, if you go uh, further more advanced uh, uh, discussion for uh, loading if you go on research actually they, they don't normally talk about just single mode of loading just only tension or bending or twisting or just uh, 
uh, compression and they talk about uh, combination uh, for example tension and compression which is uh, for example like you what you experience for uh, cyclic load okay you you pull uh, you pull a you pull uh, the, the specimen and also at the same time and afterwards uh, after period then you release and you compress so we call it cyclic uh, that those kind of cyclic cycles of uh, of load uh, and then combination of maybe bending with uh, twisting okay and that is more uh, uh, more advanced uh, more uh, when you go uh, further on research or maybe and also actually for uh, when you do product study also uh, in, in in reality in outside uh, all uh, kind of product is actually uh, uh, does not uh, limited to just one type of loading okay so what we're talking about it uh, now currently is just one type of loading but in reality it does not often the case okay in reality uh, uh, your product your uh, the, the material is actually combination of two or more type of loading Okay, keep, keep in mind that eh? uh, don't just say when you uh, when you learn uh, talk about uh, when you actually go to work or when you go practical later on in your, in, uh, in your uh, final year uh, when people ask you okay uh, what kind of uh, loading uh, I mean uh, commonly for product okay uh, so you can say that there are four types of common loading uh, actual uh, bending twisting and also compression but in reality uh, all different product doesn't just kind of uh, one. In general, we could say one, but one type of loading. But in uh, in reality, uh, in practice, most of the time it's not just one. Even a product, let's say, if you uh, uh, different temperature, okay, different gradient of temperature, uh, heating and then uh, cooling, heating and cooling is also actually uh, 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 an expansion and contraction, also kind of one one type of loading itself okay so please keep, keep that in mind eh? jangan jangan uh, uh, saya cakap dalam bahasa Melayu maksud jangan fikirkan jangan limitkan bila kata loading uh, product apa semua or tension saja ataupun uh, bending saja facing ataupun compression tapi selalunya in reality sebenarnya lebih daripada satu eh more than one so shape factor masuk boleh kena ni Uh, siapa tu tolong mute eh siapa yang baru join tu eh. ok alright uh, sorry I suddenly ni pula ok eh. so shape factor so, uh, uh, so we have to uh, when you say about the shape factor. Also, we have, uh, as I mentioned just now, the uh, how efficient the material, okay, uh, material usage in a uh, shape. Okay, so uh, the way of measuring an efficient structural efficiency is to have we have to have a a, a metric, satu macam a function, okay, that is independent uh, from the properties of the material. Okay, uh, when we say uh, kenapa you, uh, that is the comes back to my uh, early on uh, when I mentioned that why uh, for example some shape is better uh, to a different shape when uh, loading okay when when applied to a different uh, kind of loading for example this circular shape is more suitable for uh, torsion torsion uh, uh, torsion being applied torsion as compared to a uh, uh, shape as uh, example uh, a square okay so I, I give um, I have actually okay actually my daughter's uh, so you see here uh, this lego piece okay this is a uh, shape of a rectangle okay for the more width okay but uh, in the meantime, we ignore the 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 connecting uh, uh, struts that uh, come out of the of the of the Lego piece. Okay, so you can imagine if if I were to uh, twist this, if I were to in this direction of twisting, okay, uh, which one would be uh, 
I mean uh, more uh, how to say it, uh, the word is uh, which would be more efficient if the action of twisting between these two shapes. Nampaknya kalau katakan if you see this Lego piece and then this so which one would be the uh, the more efficient shape? Bisa boleh jawab? Uh, metal ke? Ada kat dekat situ ke metal? Kalau katakan if this shape this rectangle shape and this which one would think if you just uh, uh, try to uh, action of twisting which one would be uh, easier ada tak merah lah di situ apa kat dia ke syamsu ke tak ada siapa kat depan pun isi dah yeah. ha? rectangle rectangle ah, lagi mudah rectangle lagi mudah kan Yeah. Yeah. Easier. Rectangle lagi mudah eh. Apa tu kenapa? Apa tu kenapa drive shaft kereta semua dalam bentuk bulat bukan in not is in circular shape not in rectangle shape. If you say this one is easier to twist as compared to this one. Notice tak? Rectangle senang nak claim. <laughs> Ha? 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 Tadi kita fikir rectangle tu senang nak claim kan senang nak pegang sebab kita nak pusing dia senang. <laughs> No, 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 not because of holding a uh, clamp. Uh. It's actually twisting action, twisting ya. Yeah? Jangan, jangan salah faham ya. Yeah? Saya pegang memang saya. Peg, I mean, although I'm holding like this, okay. But actually, uh, what I'm talking about is twisting action. Okay? I see. Uh, okay, that's what I meant. Okay. So of course, logically, is the circular. Yes. Because circle moves in. Uh, we have. Uh, it doesn't offer any resistance. Okay. Maksudnya dia tak melak. Doesn't. If I try to twist. Uh, we have uh, edges here, okay, so the edges actually offer resistance to a twisting action, okay, uh, twisting, nak, nak pusing, turning, uh, so that 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 twisting, uh, that edges, ujung-ujung, uh, the corner of the rectangle would offer resistance as, as opposed to a circular shape, uh, like for example, uh, uh, a cylinder, okay, that, so that's why I was talking about, uh, for example, a car draft Yeah, drive shaft tu is in circular punya, uh, eh, sorry, uh, cylindrical shape. Okay, so uh, that is what we have the, uh, sorry, that is what we define as the the ratio ni. Okay, how efficient shape ni as compared to a different shape yang uh, uh, we call it a, a neutral shape. Okay, so in this case we call it a solid square shape. Is because uh, solid square is the uh, basic uh, uh, basic uh, material could come okay uh, paling uh, not apa tu sphere ke apa ke but would be the uh, basis of a square shape kalau sebenarnya kalau square shape tu you actually a solid square almost uh, almost uh, all kind of application we can use actually for even for uh, loaded actually tension. Uh, for bending, we can use also, also for compression, although not for torsion, but uh, it generally can be used uh, in a lot of uh, different uh, mode of application. So uh, this is the definition of the uh, of the uh, uh, ratio here, yeah? finding. Okay, the stiffness of a shaped section over a neutral reference shape, which in this case the solid square. Okay, this not uh, this is not a square like rectangle. Tapi uh, I, I, what I meant to draw is the uh, the a square. So for example, an elastic bending of beam. Okay, we know that the definition for bending stiffness ni is actually uh, S. Okay, uh, and with regards with the uh, the yang E uh, I over length uh, cube. Okay, this is the definition for uh, bending uh, for beam uh, stiffness, bending stiffness, eh? uh, which uh, E is the Young's modulus, I is the second moment of inertia, and L is the length at the axis of beam. Okay, let me put to the the length. Okay, length. Okay, at the axis of the beam. So uh, I don't have to mention the second moment of inertia is actually the the neutral uh, second moment. Okay, of the of, uh, of axis of reference. Okay, so uh, the definition for the second moment of inertia is we have the integral section. Okay, 
y squared over the differential of area. Okay, y squared would be the 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 uh, not the 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 length, eh, but actually the uh, thickness. Okay. So and and that is actually defined by the uh, or for a beam a square beam, for example. Okay. Eh, sorry, no. Y is actually the length. Okay. Uh, length and the uh, difference of uh, area. Okay. So uh, the the this I not is actually the uh, the second moment of inertia for uh, for a solid square beam. So it's equal to B uh, uh, B, which is the 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 uh, I mean the width. Okay, the 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 width. Okay, and H is the height. Uh, let me draw eh? B, and then this is the H. Okay, so define. So, uh, so a square is actually a B lah sebenarnya. Because it's all sides are the same. So it's a square. So the formula is actually for uh, B uh, dif uh, power of 4 over 12. Or B, B4 ni sama juga dengan kalau B, B times B we get area. So that's why it calls uh, A squared over 12. So this is the uh, uh, formula. How we get uh, apa to here from coming from here. Okay. Uh, you don't have to worry that much I want. Uh, because actually we have to in integrate uh, this. Okay. According to section with, uh, with regards to the uh, B C D. So it will be. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, a lot of uh, the, the explanation that on, on getting, but uh, we just have to remember that the 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 the, the, the formula for the uh, second moment of inertia for a square, okay, uh, a square with the same sides is B uh, uh, one side. It doesn't matter if it's H or you want to put it A, or you want to put it C, D, regardless. But the one side we uh, power of 4 over 12. Okay. So uh, since this is the uh, second moment of inertia. Okay. Since I know it's the second moment of inertia for uh, this one. Eh? For a solid square. So an elastic bending of beam, we define is the stiffness of a shape, regardless shape, uh, uh, rectangle, a triangle, an I beam. So the shape that we are concerned of, okay, over the stiffness of the uh, square elastic uh, square shape uh, uh, stiffness, okay, a beam, a solid square shape, and uh, for stiffness is defined by the uh, uh, elastic uh, stiffness is defined by the uh, young modulus times the uh, second moment of inertia of that shape yeah, regardless uh, shape uh, triangle or uh, circle uh, regardless over the solid square shape and the formula would be uh, if we uh, put in the value of uh, a squared 12 or a squared over 12 over here then we got uh, and we can cancel e here Okay, because we don't consider the material properties uh, uh, the same because we are consider uh, we are concerned more on the shape itself would be 12 i over a squared okay ini for the elastic uh, bending of a beam okay meaning the second moment of inertia of the shape okay because if i so kalau if I come out uh, I ni kan kita dapat A squared ni over 12, ni pun dapat I ni pun A squared over 12. Okay, kita keluarkan uh, ni but we uh, uh, we got the, uh, the 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 equation would be 12 I over A squared. Kita dapat uh, because I we we don't know the shape itself. Tak tahu, kita tak tahu lagi. I not ni kita dah tahu formula di sini. Ini, ni eh. Ni kita dapat kat sini dah A squared 12 ni kita tahu dah. Tapi uh, I need is for the shape that we want to 
uh, consider tak kisah uh, regardless uh, triangle uh, 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 circle or i shape doesn't matter okay but for a solid square kita tahu dah the formula dia ni is that's why dia jadi macam ni so uh, boleh faham sampai sini eh anyone can can uh, understand up until here boleh faham tak boleh sir okay eh so, saya continue eh okay sorry I just want to because i i use a presenter view so i don't see uh, is anyone uh, typing in the chat ni Sekejap, you can also type in the chat, but just give me some time to uh, to see. Okay, then I just continue. Okay. So, uh, okay, beam, uh, bending stiffness of a beam, okay, is the, the, the formula would be the uh, C1 EI over L3. C is the constant. Okay, just now I shown you, uh, sorry. This one, eh? And bending stiffness, eh? Bending stiffness, ni S, ni. Okay, this is a different thing. This is the elastic bending of beam. Okay, this formula. For the bending stiffness, okay, is uh, proportional with the, uh, I want to find the word proportional. Okay, proportional with the young modulus, I over uh, length uh, cube. Okay, so the bending, stiff, uh, bending stiffness of a beam, okay, S beam is equal to C1 EI over L cube, which C1 is the constant depending on the loading details. Uh, if the beam is uh, loaded uh, uniformly, you have a different constant of C1. If the beam is being loaded uh, singular at the edge, you have a different C1. If the, build, uh, if the beam is being loaded in the middle of the beam, a single load at the beam so you have a different uh a different load you uh, i mean don't uh, don't worry about the 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 the, the concept actually you uh, you can also refer uh, our textbook uh on mistaken in uh, appendix b okay and our textbook the uh motivation you can find in the appendix b uh, all the formula and also the the corresponding constant depending on the loading of the of the beam Okay, and L is the length of the beam and E is the yang modulus. Okay, so uh, structure factor for the ratio of the stiffness of shape beam to that of a solid section. Okay, thus we have the, uh, the, the by definition is the, uh, again, elastic beam. Okay, so S, B of a shape, any kind of shape, and then the square. Okay. okay. This is for the shape of a square. This any kind of shape, circular, triangle, I, regardless. Okay, the, again, the definition is this. So we got the since I is uh, I is for a solid square is B uh, of four over twelve, uh, same as A squared over twelve. So, so this is the the shape of the. Uh, that is this is the uh, elastic bending for. Uh, for beam okay uh, next for torsion okay so for torsion stiffness of a beam is the uh, strength uh, stiffness in torsion equals to k which is the torsional moment of inertia uh, g is the shear modulus okay for torsion it's not the young's modulus we call it the shear modulus and l is the length of the shaft okay the length of the uh, of the shaft itself so the the Structure ratio for the elastic uh, torsional uh, twisting uh, uh, torsional stiffness is the uh, ST for any kind of shape over ST for a uh, solid circular section okay, with the same cross cross section area. So it goes with the K over K naught. Okay, this one. Okay. And K naught is we know is the 0.14 a squared. Okay, how how this value comes about is actually uh, again we use the same uh, we have to use the integration uh, uh, with the uh, um, okay we have to use the integration. Uh, 
the L and then the differential of area. So you don't have to worry that much. So it's just that the, the value for a uh, solid singular section okay, with the same question area for a, uh, for in this case for torsion, we, we use a solid circular section. The value is 0.14 a squared. Okay. Okay. So, uh, for the elastic twisting of uh, any kind of uh, shape uh, factor, okay, so we have the formula is 7.14k over a squared. This 7.14 uh, is actually the uh, shear modulus, okay, uh, of uh, the, the formula uh, when we key in, when we consider we also with the 0.14k uh, not here. Okay, so this is the, because uh, uh, the shear modulus has, uh, you know is equals to uh, if I remember say E and uh, we twisting uh, 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 details, but that is how we got the formula for the uh, torsional uh, elastic for uh, uh, shape factor. Okay, here. Uh, and then uh, for uh, another definition, that is one. Uh, this okay, these two. Okay, these two is bending. Remember, bending and torsion only talks about elastic. Okay, this is elastic. Meaning, when we say elastic for a material, uh, it doesn't go uh, permanent deformation. Okay, we need before uh, permanent definition, uh, deformation, uh, which is uh, during elastic. Meaning, any kind of load that we apply, when we release it, will return to its original uh, dimension. Okay. So for failure. Okay, or for a strength, okay, it's a, it's different, okay, okay. So the highest stress for a given bending moment m is given by is at the surface of a distance, okay, y m furthest from the neutral axis, or the uh, stress the highest stress is equal to m in okay, the bending moment, uh, y m is the the farthest distance, okay, yang paling uh, jauh, okay, over the uh, uh, and over uh, the second moment in Tisha. So the the ratio of the uh, farthest distance over uh, second moment of inertia we define as the z m over uh, z. So the bending the beam fails when the bending moment is large enough for uh, stress to reach the failure stress of the failure. So the bending moment uh, at failure, okay, this will f is equal to the uh, z, okay, and stress at the uh, failure state okay so if we define the structure factor for the ratio of failure moment okay of the shape beam to a solid uh, square so we got uh, the moment many moment at failure over many moment at uh, failure for a solid square or we can define as the if since uh, the both have the same uh, i'm sorry not the same uh, both uh, the the we don't consider the, the, the material properties itself because we only consider shape. Eh? That's why uh, if we we can cancel the value of the of the stress at failure, uh, we only consider the the shape, okay, which is the y over uh, the distance over uh, i. Okay. And z naught is defined by by the, the the formula is b cube over six or a Three uh, square root over six. Okay, I'm going to talk about about uh, a can I'm going to be closer to work. So b three uh, b three over uh, a three over two is actually uh, by definition of uh, a uh, you have to square root and then you get uh, b again and then b squared. That's why uh, that's why it becomes a three uh, uh, cube over uh, two. Which is mean a cube and then square root okay, over six. Okay. So the failure of a beam is defined by the six, uh, the formula six z over a uh, cube and then uh, square root. Okay. For torsion, the higher shear stress for a given torque, okay, experienced by shaft is given by the uh, tau is equal to t torque over q. Okay. So the which is the the uh, the distance uh, of the 
uh, of the um, uh, with, uh, with the with the center of the uh, of the circular uh, shaft. Okay, so the beam fails when the torque is large enough for tau to reach the failure shear stress of the material. Okay, uh, T torsion. Okay, so the torque uh, failure at Q times uh, tau F. And for the defined structure fracture for the ratio of failure, torque is the shape shaft, shaft to that of a solid circular section with the same cross section area, which is uh, uh, pi uh, t torque at, at failure. Okay, uh, torque is equal to t f over t f naught over q uh, equals to q over q naught. Uh, and q over q naught is defined by the b, uh, b cube over 6 or a cube. Uh, square root over six okay and uh, so the value is actually uh, 4.8 q over a uh, cube of uh, square root okay so this uh, definition this formula actually you uh, uh, you need to understand it defines uh, between uh, there's a difference between uh, failure and also elastic okay so but failure but, uh, is related to the uh, is related to the the stress at point the the the, the materials as uh, the shape of the, the material breaks okay failure itu nama failure tu uh, elastic it, it doesn't break okay it doesn't change dimension okay, you got to okay, you have to uh, remember that okay so for example here if you look here okay this kalau uh, tengok shape eh uh, this rectangular shape Okay, uh, shape one, two, and three. Okay, regardless of the dimension, okay, regardless of the dimension, it has the same elastic bending moment uh, ratio. Sama je. Regardless of shape ni, eh, makin besar, makin besar, it, it, whether or not the dimension is getting larger, the shape uh, factor is the same. Faham eh? Uh, apa tu, meaning that you do not change anything on the shape factor efficiency itu, you do not change regardless you make it larger okay so it doesn't uh, it doesn't uh, course it doesn't uh, change whether or not uh, the dimension changes okay uh, even for an I section okay the elastic bending moment uh, shape factor is 10 regardless of the sizes okay this is this is what unique when we uh, uh, we have this value of uh, uh, I mean, uh, bending factor. Ni. Okay, that's why, um, for example, uh, uh, house. Uh, uh, that's why uh, peop, uh, when people uh, noticed uh, when they were making buildings, okay, okay, early on, okay, orang pikir uh, uh, people di, uh, uh, thought, okay, uh, uh, a larger building, okay, uh, we need. Uh, kalau dulu lah when I say about the ancient times uh, during Roman times kalau you, you look at the at the uh, construction okay, kalau tengok macam mana kat Greek uh, zaman-zaman dulu punya semua dia uh, if if it has a, it says okay it, ha, it, it needs to be uh, bigger and then it needs a load to be bigger so the, all of that design uh, the column and everything is large so when we understand mathematics uh, is being developed, uh, I mean later on the understanding of uh, uh, of how material works and everything. So they find that uh, they can achieve, uh, uh, I mean the same. Uh, it can sustain the same load, even though we make it smaller. So when we make it smaller, we save on material, but we still get the same, uh, the same efficient. Uh, loading uh, as opposed to a, a larger. Uh, that's why we can make. Uh, uh, if you look at, uh, yeah, that's why we have uh, when we when we when we understand. Okay, especially as for civil engineers. So, so when they when they when we understand this kind of uh, shape factor, so the uh, so designers or civil civil uh, uh, architects uh, even. So they don't they don't care about the material properties. They care about just the design because they know okay for uh, for this application uh, for this kind of building uh, this I beam I can use according to this standard. So it's been proven 
regardless of the of uh, what uh, uh, just considering about the material later on uh, depending on the load itself but i can get the same uh, application uh, wise without uh, sacrificing aesthetic or uh, sacrificing my design so i can make it smaller so depending on the on what application that i, I want okay so this is the the benefit then when we understand about uh, the shape uh, shape factor regardless of the sizes it still has the same efficiency uh, shape factor okay for application so uh, so so here okay for example so for section shape for, for a square or rectangle so the bending factor is h over uh, uh, the height over the 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 width yeah, the torsional factor is 2.38 h over uh, the height over and then uh, 1 minus 0.58 uh, b over h or the width over height and this is the bending factor which is hb 0.5 the bending factor maksudnya ini bagi dengan uh, for a solid square okay, and this is the torsional factor uh, uh, this is the torsional factor and so this is would be the uh, torsional factor at failure sorry and this is the bending factor for failure so this is uh, uh, this is uh, bending uh, elastic uh, for uh, torsion uh, bending for failure uh, torsional for uh, failure and this is a uh, bending factor check uh, p over p uh, this one i have to check back now uh, but uh, most of the discussion actually talk about uh, this four uh, let me check I forgot about this uh, what the p uh, t means uh, but most of the discussion actually uh, what we're talking about is you know, there'll be uh, talking about is discussing is about the elastic and the failure to the tak 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 sampai uh, sini for triangle this is the formula torsional punya formula uh, value dia tak ada formula lah it's just the value for torsion and this is the factor for failure for triangle and so on and so forth we have circular we have ellipse we have a hollow uh, circular okay so uh, and then we have a hollow uh, uh, square okay uh, we have also uh, for ellipse with the uh, thickness okay and then uh, it's just two uh, two plates on top of each other okay being uh, with a distance uh, uh, distance uh, separating them so you see here for example uh, this uh, shape okay so the two plates uh, with the distance Okay, we can use it for bending, but we can't use it for the time. Why it comes out there? Because it's, it really is not suitable for torsion. We, got, we can't have the we can have the, the value for torsion. Okay, tak ada sini. Uh, this is for elastic and this is for uh, failure. I beam. Okay, this is formula for I beam, torsion, uh, bending, torsion, uh, bending for failure, uh, failure and torsion for failure. And then we have the T shape and then each shape okay okay so this is an example of uh, calculating shape factor okay so i give you about uh, 10 minutes okay show the question okay if a tube with radius r equal 10 mm and walk thickness t okay ni tube eh tube ada thickness how much stiffer is it in bending than a solid cylinder of the same mass per unit length Okay, yeah. how much stiffer is it in bending okay, than a solid cylinder of the same mass? Hmm. Apa formula nak pakai? Okay, dia kata sini, ni tube eh. So, kalau tube tadi, this is the shape of tube ni. This is the shape of tube. Okay, how much stiffness is it in bending? Ni bending kita. Bending kita. Okay, then a solid cylinder. Okay, of the same mass pin. Solid cylinder, mana solid cylinder? Maksudnya dia tak ada anda ni cylinder ni. Ini bending. Okay. Boleh bagi macam nak tahu? Anyone give any uh, give a suggestion? Dia, dia nak cari. How much is stiffer is in bending compared to a solid cylinder? How do you approach? Siapa saya boleh tanya? Uh, saya nak tanya 
Umur as, uh, Alif Asraf. Ada idea tak? Alif. Alif ada. Hmm? Alif Asraf ada. Uh, how about uh, kami ni? Kami ni ada kami ni. Korang semua tak ada korang semua dah dah hilang uji makan ini. Kami ni pun tak ada. Apa ada ni? Syahid? Syahid Ishak. Syahid ada tak? Ada sih, ada, ada. Okay. So ada idea tak? Hmm. Ni, nak kira bending ni. Macam nak dapat? Macam nak approach? Ni saya saya patah balik ni tadi. Okay, kamu tengok dekat dalam uh, dekat in chapter 9 of my second in our textbook. Okay. So, uh, uh, we want to know uh, this uh, shape ni. Okay, shape, shape ni. How much is it is, uh, is it uh, stiffer than uh, compared to a uh, solid? Uh, square punya cube. Saya ada, ada idea. Uh, kita calculate volume juga. Okay. Sebenarnya salah eh. Tak ada kaitan dengan volume pun. Oh tadi eh. Uh, okay. We know, okay. We know from the table kata a tube. Okay. Uh, uh, for value is. Ini formula dia eh. This is the formula. Okay. Is 3 pi over RT. Which is R radius and then thickness one mm. Okay. Uh, and uh, do we get the value nine point five five. Kalau masuk sini eh, sepuluh radius T satu dapat jawapan sembilan puluh lima. You can check yourself. Kalau solid cylinder, kalau solid cylinder is just three pi, which is equal to point nine nine five. Okay. So ini this means that a cube, okay, a cube with thickness is stiffer 10 times bending compared to solid cylinder. Okay, oh, maksud ini meaning that uh, because of the shape with thickness, okay, and we calculate uh, the 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 uh, the shape efficiency factor ni, okay, for a, a tube ni with compared to dengan solid, this uh, tube is uh, is much resistant to bending compared to solid cylinder maksudnya kalau cylinder yang bulat ni ni yang penuh solid if i uh, drill a hole through okey maksudnya jadi jadi uh, apa ni tube okey bukan dia jadi solid dia ada the tube it has a it has a hole in the middle through okey through the shaft itself it is it resist bending 10 times compared to solid cylinder same goes to okey Ini, maksudnya silinder ni, this silinder with tube, uh, tube with a thickness just 1 mm is if if I have the, kalau ni radius the, uh, the, the, the thickness is as much as the the, the same uh, uh, apa tu uh, area lah kalau katakanlah this is 1 mm eh uh, radius ni masih 10 lah 10 and I have this sama juga 10 mm juga and I have this the same 10 mm so, <clears throat> because I have a hole here, it is 10 times resistant to bending compared to a solid shape. Okay, that's why uh, people buat uh, structure, frame structure for a house, for example, they use, uh, kalau kau tak for the, uh, when, uh, uh, for flooring, uh, bending, uh, for the, the floor, uh, for different, uh, for high rise, so that's why they they use uh, they use uh, I beam, okay, <coughs> as opposed to a solid uh, square beam, okay. Because when they found out that by having this this configuration of shape, it the uh, it is increasing its resistance to load, okay. Uh, bending, for example, uh, load uh, bending load, okay, uh, and then for uh, for uh, torsion, you have you can uh, using a uh, circular shape. Okay, because of this reason. Okay, ini sebabkan uh, when we 
when they study uh, the efficiency of uh, efficiency of ship okay okay so for, for, uh, how do we de derive performance indices uh, with the ship okay for example uh, uh, yang sebelum ni saya ajar kamu uh, dapatkan performance index yang contohnya for uh, objective for mass for example okey uh, uh, yang kamu dapat nanti m equals to tak salah sigma y over uh, uh, apa tu uh, density ke kan ni dah sikit apa ke okey so uh, for example okey we have a shape factor uh, formula dia is 12 i over a squared. So if I masukkan uh, uh, value uh, ni okay, ke dalam formula ni, i ni, I masukkan, uh, I, I change the, uh, I make i as the uh, equals to uh, uh, pi uh, shape factor bending elastic ni times a squared over 12. So I masukkan, uh, I uh, insert it here. And then, uh, so when I uh want to uh mass okay uh, objective for mass so what i kalau katakan m kan is sama juga dengan uh, formula dia kan uh, mass is uh, a uh, l over uh, rho kan uh, you, you did for for the um, for the uh, for example a uh, uh, a, a cylinder uh, type of uh, uh, rod okay so uh, if, if we re rearrange uh, ini yang, ini yang, this is the, the previous eh? but if we rearrange this one okay this one into uh, the same as the uh, bentuk uh, this kind of uh, configuration eh? ini, ini untuk this is for cylindrical punya ni eh? for tension eh? don't uh, be mistaken eh Okay, tapi if we uh, arrange with this kind of untuk uh, jenis, okay, uh, apa tu, we will get, okay, m equals to 12s uh, sebab uh, a ni, kat sini, a ni, okay, and rho is still rho, so uh, if, uh, eh, sorry, sekejap saya nak tambah ni. Uh, I think I, I missed, uh, explain, uh, mistaken uh, explanation. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, mass, okay. Mass, dia punya formula is uh, area times length times density. Okay, times density. So, uh, since A ni, okay, for a shape, big, uh, stiffness of beam, okay, we get from here, dari ni. So we rearrange it, okay, A ni sama dengan apa, kan, uh, so we arrange ini, so kita masuk kat sini, then we get 12 S, B, C, 1, E, semua tu, and then we get square root, eh, square root sebab A ni, kalau kita tukarkan jadi uh, ni, and then times L, uh, power of 5 over, uh, and then square root, times, this is the geometrical punya ni, rho square over E, Uh, that's it beam ni dengan 1 per 2 ok yes. actually I'll discuss more uh, a method I dapatkan ni during nanti tutorial 2 nanti ok so what I'm trying to say is that this is how uh, shape factor comes into uh, the performance index ni material index ni M ni kan ini uh, ni material index ni kat sini ok this is the functional index and this is the geometrical So functional index ni regarding the, uh, kita take, uh, we, what we see here is the constant, okay, bending stiffness ni, constant dia C1 ni, uh, uh, apa ni, uh, is being divided by the, uh, 12, and then stiffness is in bending, the square root. Geometrical is the length, okay, sini, and then uh, for uh, material index kita ialah sini. So this is how it comes into macam tu, at least how dia, dia masukkan shape factor in the material uh, index, okay okay for torsion, okay uh, same, uh, this is the formula for torsion uh, punya stiffness, okay so shape factor uh, for uh, torsional punya elastic is uh, 7.14k over a squared, so st ni a ni kita gantikan uh, dalam sini, okay kita masukkan uh, Eh, sorry, K itu kita masukkan dalam sini. 
Okay, we uh, in the in the equation, and then we got G uh, torsional punya ni is squared over two pi n. And this is the we got when we when we rearrange. Okay, when we re rearrange the formula. Okay, uh, any A L rho. Eh? Okay, so uh, apa tu? Then we got uh, apa tu? This one apa tu? A two. We substitute inside uh, dapatkan sini. So then we got uh, then 2 pi s uh, t square root times l cube over n square root. Then we got uh, apa tu the material index will be rho square over g which is a shear modulus and the torsional shape uh, factor too. So in sense since g is uh, value only, saya cakap yang kenapa dapat value uh, previously too is because g is uh, 3 over 8 uh, of uh, elastic modulus eh, uh, most of the time. So then we can minimize mass m is by maximizing the uh, e uh, square root over rho. Okay, so this is the we can substitute inside uh, here. So do tiga puluh delapan ni bagaimana dia pergi dekat actually uh, in front of the equation. This I can show you in the tutorial. Uh, explain for the more tutorial. For bending uh, same okay. Uh, for, sorry for failure in bending okay. Uh, since the moment I shown just now. And shape factor for failure. This is the formula. You can look at the at the, uh, at the in chapter nine of the our textbook. Okay, tadi yang uh, uh, what I showed just now. So when we substitute uh, a, so and then m is equal to uh, sorry when we substitute uh, uh, to m f ni okay into this uh, this uh, uh, formula. Then we got uh, uh, sorry z. Eh? Okay, uh, we got the formula uh, sigma f. Uh, pi failing uh, bending a cube uh, square root 4 over uh, square root pi then we got this is the we we rearrange with the performance index with the functional function uh, functional for geometry and then functional for uh, material index so to minimize mass m we can maximize the this value okay and for torsion same so we substitute q here and then we uh, got this uh, uh, rearranging, okay. And then we got this is the final uh, arrangement of the uh, performance index uh, uh, equation. Performance equation. So when, if we want to minimize the mass m, we have to maximize the uh, the value of this. Okay. So uh, uh, I will discuss this more in very detail during uh, tutorial nanti. Okay, tutorial. Uh, uh, but you have uh, is, uh, to you will have uh, further discussion on this. Okay. So I talk about uh, uh, point index for elastic bending including shape. Right? Uh, how uh, how do we use it? Okay. So we can also write it write it as uh, e uh, uh, over ni. Kalau kita masukkan eh, kalau uh, we open up the the equation eh, uh, uh, here. So a material with yang ni ni dapat dapat sini so yeah it's just that yeah, this uh, pi uh, elastic uh, in bending moment uh, in in bending so in bending okay how we get to this is just just we open uh, ni satu per dua ni dapat sini then this is how we uh, dia dapat eh uh, macam ni kita kalau saya keluarkan sini saya akan jadikan sama it's just mathematik uh, if you if you don't know how to get this then you have to uh, belajar balik macam mana nak buka uh, how to open uh, the square root okay so don't uh, I don't have to say much but this is just uh, mathematics here okay so for example if a material with tens modulus e and density rho with a particular section x as a material with an effective tens modulus okay so e ni uh, we have this is the definition okay Okay, a material with yang small as e and as zero with a particular section x as a material with an effect yang modulus c. Maksudnya kalau katakanlah kita ada material, uh, we want to know the effective material in that particular shape section. This is the definition dia lah ni, ini, ini, this one. And density, effective density of a material in a particular shape. This is the formula. Okay, to what is uh, that check out. So if we uh, make it into a uh, 
material section chart okay so this is would be the uh, if the shape for one this would be the the line okay we can use it in the csw pack we can put in the value for the elastic bending okay, for the two shape uh, for density use it in the formula then we can get this kind of uh, uh, this kind of uh, section chart we nampak lebih kurang nampak macam ni okay uh, that is just what i want to uh, discuss discuss about okay and uh, uh, if a higher ratio of shape to it will move to more towards to the uh, left or lower this one is okay can be uh, shown in this yes effect which is which is uh, i mean that like you can uh, see nanti dalam uh, actually done uh, lab uh, five actually so lab six is a bit different so but this is i shown an example nanti and share in youtube uh, the example on how we get how it actually works okay like this ni for failure sama saja we as will be the same okay masuk kat sini uh, get this kind of uh, then so if a material material we can tahu efficient uh, efficient in that kind of shape so this is the this is what, what it means eh? and this is for density okay again for um, for strength and density actually so for shape factor one ni this is with the shape and the higher shape factor then would be uh, more uh, to the left okay ni macam boleh we check we can check in the csd pack okay so um, this is the uh, last uh, slide okay so all the uh, slide ni I'll, I'll upload uh, after this class ni okay after this class so and uh, don't forget to uh, mark your attendance for today eh, in you learn so I'll upload it uh, straight away after this and also I'll share the video of this recording okay in our YouTube so you can also check our YouTube channel or even here okay so do you have any questions ke you want to ask ada soalan ke ada siapa nak tanya untuk hari ni so far okay kan no, okay. faham no. nak eh no question ke langsung tak faham nak tanya you can be blunt sebenarnya kalau tak faham uh, but you can actually take your time okay to uh, to understand okay no, no worries okay uh, apa tu because uh, uh, this shape factor nanti akan ada question juga nanti yeah, I'll be asking uh, juga tu nanti uh, but uh, if you see here this is a lot just a lot of equation using equation okay as opposed to macam der deriving to it is a different uh, type but this is more on the uh, calculating okay then you uh, understand nanti so uh, I think on my part that is all okay so thank you very much everyone for about the about an hour and a half you spent uh, almost an hour and a half you spent with me okay so don't forget to uh, mark your attendance okay uh, and thank you uh, everyone for your attention today so i'll see you uh, have uh, take care everyone and uh, uh, just remember uh, uh, mark attendance okay okay thank you assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh thank you sir